the storyline that I play in is the is sort of an over uh, overwrought father trying to get his kids, um, you know, through their daily life, just trying to make ends meet. Um, work's been slow. They, uh, their mother, my wife, has passed away previous to the start of this story. So it's a broken family that's trying to um, just get by day to day. And that part feels really real in, in a way that it would if I were making a family drama, say. Um, so on top of that is the fun stuff where the daughter makes um, failed attempts to reach across into the further um, in hopes of communicating with her, her dead mother. They found a great young actress to play the, the daughter part to mine. And, you know, in, in anybody's estimation, she carries this movie in the lead part. Um, Stephanie Scott's her name. I'd never seen any of her work, but she's a really realistic actor. And uh, it's been great working with a young person who takes her job seriously and cares about what she does, um, but um, doesn't get carried away with the process or anything. I'm just really impressed with how she works. And then I'm in a scene with her, and it feels extremely authentic. Uh, she brings a, a very realistic quality to her acting for such a young, uh, for such a young actor. It's really, it's been a nice experience. And I think in that way, she's uh, done as much for creating this sense of a realistic family that you're kind of pulling for through the most extraordinary circumstances. Finally, he gets a, a, a turn, uh, you know, at the helm and has just done a bang-up job. He's a really easy guy to relate to. And in his, uh, his direction, he, he, he makes it real simple and easy to, to make the adjustments he sees. The interesting thing about Lee is not just that he's the writer and has a, a you know, passion for the material. He knows every word of his own script. Um, but he's got it entirely memorized. And then attached to that memory of what's written down, is the visual that he has attached to. It's, just, it's the most incredible thing to watch because nothing gets by him and, it, and, it, and he has got a meticulous quality to what he wants to achieve in even the smallest scenes. You know, he has a vision for it and that's how it goes. And when you have a director that, that, that is uh, that self-assured in his vision, and in Lee's case, obviously, he's got the track record to prove that he knows what he's doing in this genre and uh, with these characters, so... Um, when that happens, it's, uh, it's, it's great to be an actor in that situation because you really know that you're safe and that you're going to pull out the, the most important parts of that character for the story. For all of the things that Lee brought to it, his personality and his uh, knowledge of the material um, and some other undefinable quality, there I was in these scenes like actually getting like the hair on the back of my neck standing up and I'm having real reactions instead of the reactions that I, w I thought I would have to, um, to, to conjure or to bring up as an actor, you know. Um, so it, it was surprisingly an easier acting job than I thought. Um, and then, of course, for that reason, much more gratifying because uh, I didn't know I was going to believe all this stuff, but it gets you into it. And before you know it, you know, you're looking over your own shoulder and you don't know what's coming next. And that'll be uh, how these audiences experience this movie, too, because we felt it when we were making when we we're making this movie. I mean, it just had this bizarre, uh, bizarre feeling.